Methane gas is said to be 28 times more harmful than carbon dioxide. Landfill gas also contributes to smoke, giving rise to asthma and other diseases. In 2010 alone, trash released nearly 800 million metric tons of carbon dioxide globally, equivalent to about 11% of all methane generated by humans. Methane is far more damaging as a greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. It is produced by decomposed organic materials in the absence of air. It traps heat efficiently, though it is health and safety hazard. About two-thirds of landfill waste contains biodegradable organic matter from households, business and industry. As this organic matter decomposes, it releases methane gas. And scientists have discovered that methane traps up to 20 times more heat in the atmosphere. Dr. David Doche Wemega, a senior lecturer at the physics department at Kwame Krumah University of Science and Technology. Methane at the landfill site to a percentage of about between 5 and 15 percent of the air volume can lead to combustion, can actually burst into flame. So if not controlled at the site to those people living within the school, the enclave of the, the, or the catchment area of this can also be in danger. Solid waste disposal in Ghana has become indiscriminate because there is no system for separating it from liquid and other forms. Currently, there are many authorized and unauthorized landfill and dump sites. Unfortunately, most of them fall below modern standards with health and environmental consequences to the people. Dr. Wemega again. I think they have to look at putting a more pr a means of trying to protect the site and engineer the site in such a way that the methane can be collected. Because to be able to collect the methane, it means that you, you, pre you are preventing it from being emitted out. Because if you, if you, if, if you, if you don't cap the site very well to prevent the methane from escaping, then you are not going to get a viable quantity of methane from the site to be used for that economic purpose. So proper engineering has to be taken into place at the site to make sure that the site is well kept. Residents within dumping and landfill sites are more likely to suffer health effects. I sought to find how residents who live close to Dompoasi landfill site cope with the stench. The stench is so bad that you can't breathe in. You can't stand the stench when it rains, but we have nowhere to go. We have nowhere to go. That is just what residents know. Leachate from landfills has serious implication on groundwater, which eventually reaches our homes. Dr. Anthony Ose Chumasi is a hydrological engineer at Kumasi Technical University. For, for those non-engineered uh, 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 landfill sites, or for, for that matter, the dumping grounds, there's no material which is taking care of the leachate. There's no material. They just dump it and then the, the material will seep underground and cause contamination. So in, the, in a sense, all the waters you are drinking from areas around where we put those things, at least most Ghanaians are actually going to suffer. And, and, and it is so damaging that if you don't take it, because some of them can even contain lead, because you put batteries and other things there, uh, it can contain so many materials which can actually cause carcinogenic uh, uh, matters to other people. So so what happens to garbage cleared from the street to various dumping and landfill sites? What happens to the methane released from the sites or the pollution of the groundwater system? Dr. Wemega has answers. If we look at it in one way, it's a big resource because methane is a combustible gas so it can be used to produce energy. But the, the other thing is, the system has been put in place for it to be collected and then being used for that purpose. But if it's not done, then the only thing is that it goes into the environment. I suggest that 
before you even dump the waste, you should actually uh, take care of the hazardous ones. Those which are hazardous, I, be I believe that those hazardous ones must be taken away. Uh, we should actually uh, separate the waste so that at least if there's only paper which is going to the landfill inside or plastic, then at least we will take ourselves from uh, being uh, uh, contaminated with this uh, 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 liquor, which is a leachate materials which are coming from them. Mahmoud Mohammed Nuruddin reporting.